I do want to bring Rob in, though, yes. kind of not talking about fog and winter down here, but winter right. up north. Yeah, so uh, pretty crazy. My mom has been texting me over the last, literally like the last four days, <laughs> since right. the weekend. Um, these are all pictures of Buzzards Bay, and she even got pictures of Cape Near Cod Boston, Bay right? as well. Just south of Boston, uh, mm -hmm. Cape Cod, and she's lived there for 60 years. She says it's never... So what, what is this here? I mean, like this. So here's all right. So here's the jetty. This is the uh, the seawall right here right, in the beach. Right. The beach would be right here. Sure. But the water and the tide have brought it up. You can walk clear across it's to amazing. Bedford and Fall River. Which so this she's is so crazy. Seen. We found this uh, satellite imagery from NASA, and you can actually see the ice from space. And this is salt water. This is just like the water that right. we have here in Tampa Bay. So when you have regular pure water, you know, you're asking how how does it freeze? Right. How does salt water freeze? Well, pure water freezes at 32 degrees. We know that those water molecules are able to go to that solid phase pretty easily. But when you throw salt into it, those salt particles, they block the water molecules from being able to freeze. So you actually need temperatures at 28.4 degrees or colder in order for that salt water to freeze. And we and looked at it. That's what they've got up there. For a long time. Yeah.